Yeah, I think we already did the recovery. But 780,000 is not much. And I want to retest the pot again. Make sure it's actually going to not have an exploding heat shield. Can we can we get a little space center at the equator? I should just have always have it at Kuru. I mean, there's no point not having it at Kuru. All right, we don't need that much in here for a test, and we don't need as big a rocket. Yeah, seven minutes is probably good. Okay, how much smaller can we make this? And how many engines can we cut out? This is getting to be very tubby. But it's not like it's... I mean, we'd have to make it a smaller diameter than the pod, so... I think we can just have two engines. So... Carpenter light, I guess. Somewhat lacking in redundancy, but this is essentially just for a pod test. Uh, so I had a disabled, dang it, but technically test light is still somewhere in here. So uh, don't be fooled, don't be fooled. We do have test light, um, it's still there. It's waiting to pounce when we least expect it. All right, so. Yes, let's build one. We won't have random battery failures, we won't have all the other random stuff, but the engines... The engines are still a little bit iffy. Um, I thought that second build slot had more juice in it. <laughs> okay, well... Hmm... Well, we need to do the test before we try to uh, go to the moon with one of these. Anyway, the Jupiter Orbiter 2 needs its maneuver done. Serious solar panel right here. Okay, ignition. Nope, well, let's see what's going on at Jupiter. Yeah, well, our current uh, position is closer. I'll just take that. And we're gonna have to adjust that uh, apoapsis in order to get it in line with the moons anyway. So capture just takes like 410. And it depends on what kind of orbital period we'll want when we get there. But I'll just add the SOI change alarm for now. I don't think we need to do anything at the SOI change. Uh, maybe I should just make an alarm ahead of this maneuver, but we should probably be aware of it. Uh, interesting, this is getting there only, it's actually going getting there ahead of Jupiter Orbiter 1. <laughs> well, I guess that's how things worked out. Okay, um, fine, fine, I guess. It's confusing, but okay. Anyway, it's recharging for now, even though I haven't reoriented it, it's probably okay. And back to Space Center. Let's roll that out and test the pod to see it as a happy pod with a heat shield that doesn't blow up. Okay, so here we are with the test. I mean, oh, now the throttle's working. All right, ignition. And launch. Okay, separation and ignition. And we have a good engine here. RP-2000 is just a career mode that's a lot more like stock career mode or like like the old RP-0 without all the extra complexity. It's meant to be easier for stock players to get into when using Realism Overhaul. And you act not as a government agency but as a private company. And the uh, tech tree is assuming that you're developing your own parts and starting in the year 2000 like a tech startup kind of thing. I mean, if you wanted to use the real engines, then you would access the parts that are placed by the manufacturer. Um, but it would be, be more beneficial for you to just make your own rocket uh, using a generic engine. So this is like a generic engine. 
there's like you know like the stock engines are generic engines so this is a generic engine that's part of the main tech tree uh, the only caveat is you can't use the latest realism overhaul with it, it has to be version 17.4.1 or before because with later versions they restrict career mode to only work with RP1 okay and shut down we are in orbit um, maybe we should just use this engine to deorbit because then we can deorbit this stage as well okay retro ignition okay well that's a little bit steeper than I need we'll adjust that with this all right service module set Let's get these RCS on. But yeah, what I really need is more help with the contracts than anything else in RP2000. And checking contracts out too. I need to get more of my mods on CCAN. Okay, well, I'll try to send mode again. Well, that's Hawaii over there. Uh oh. What are you? You better not be the parachutes. Oh, you're the batteries? Oh, those are what exploded last time. Well, and the docking port. They'll definitely explode coming back from the moon. No, well, they'll still explode here. Do I need them at this point? No, probably the docking port's expensive though. Okay, well, fix worked anyway for the heat shield. Okay. Let me just knock off the arrow cap. Now, I guess that's more like how it's supposed to go. We will rescue Kerbals from the moon, not because it's easy, but because it's lucrative. <laughs> They're well paying Kerbal rescues. And back. All right. Still some issues, but all right. Normal recovery. Should I replace the heat shield on the other one that's Raven built? Probably. Just in case. It's like got the old stats. Okay, just two days to fix that. Well, roll out. Okay, here we go. Throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. And launch. These Hydrolox engines, well, they, they do pretty good at surface. So that's okay. Well, they, their nozzles are pretty short, that's for sure. Okay, pass the speed of sound. All is looking well with Bill in his attempt to rescue Jedman, Kafsky, and Tamman. From various high orbits around the moon. Well, we have to check whether they're all spinning around the same way. I didn't really check which way around they were all going. Alright, booster set. What if one's going retrograde? Alright, staging. Alright, that's us in orbit. A little bit lopsided, 244 by 168. But that should be good enough. If we didn't have boil off on this stage, this stage could probably capture us into orbit. So which way around should we be going? Well, that's a uh, 141. That's a 42. Yeah, they're going in opposite directions. Okay, and we'll probably do a mid-course correction to flatten it out with respect to this target first. But we'll just go there first. 
Well, we actually don't have comms right now. And it's Bill controlling it. Okay, selling fuel down. Yep, a little bit late. Okay, go. Okay, and RCS. Okay, well, let's just do it as part of the mid course correction that I already know I need to do. No, it's really not really flattening out very well. Yeah, I guess that aspect is really not to be as far as immediately flattening out. We'll take this for now. Maybe a little bit closer. It would seem to be a better idea to go after the ones that are going prograde first since we get to that way, but I think maybe we'll do this. There is a type of intercept for stuff that's very high up that you keep it very high up, but um, I'm not going to do it for this one. Well, if I'm going to try and use this stage, I'm going to have to knock off the panels in order to get the solar panels out. Maybe we'll have a fig leaf of one panel. No, it'll be fine. <laughs> that, that one panel was designed for this, I assure you. Okay, we are recharging. Okay. Well, this is how it's going to be. Oil off uh, exists, but it's not too bad right now. All right, retrograde. Okay, selling fuel down. And ignition. We just want a loose capture right now. And then... Well, two days is a long time. How's, how's the ignition count on these going? Six. Hmm. Alright, well, let me give it another ignition. That's too long a period. guess we'll have a thing like that. All right. So here. Oh, right. Bill can't make maneuver nodes. We'll wait until we have comms. Okay, so that's fine like that, but obviously radially we're no good. Okay, so we'll do this and then we're going to phase with it. But up we go first. Okay, we can turn a little bit with it, I'm sure. So probably got a bunch of RCS fuel here, yep. I guess we'll we'll go higher a little bit just to make sure that we don't we're not spending that much time. Okay, well twenty-five we'll have to do. So we're getting this one, and then we have to flip the orbit completely around. Our supplies, 52 days with this one Kerbal. Once we get, start getting more Kerbals, we better do things a little bit quicker, though. Basically, it was supposed to be 14 days for four Kerbals, is what the supplies are. Okay, we are meeting up with it. Uh, let's be careful about how we meet up with Jedman because we need to make sure that Jedman doesn't like immediately die. That would be important. This will be the last burn with this stage finally. Okay, well, mind reignition. Okay. All right.
All right, separation. Finally, that stage is done. We're not gonna try to maneuver it close to a Kerbal. Okay, well, let's hope it doesn't kill little Kerbal before we can get to him. Entering render range. Okay, Jedman is being tracked now. Has 18 hours. Does that a little bit smoother than Kerbalism. Kerbalism always gives me a heart attack first. Okay, well, let's hop over here. Now, how did Jedman get over here in a fighter cockpit? And Jedman is actually a Gerbil, uh, a Gerbil scientist. Anyway, uh, not actually depleted. So you're you're gonna try and give me a heart attack too? Oh, the electric charge is depleted though. Hold on, board. Um, electric charge is depleted here too. Uh oh. Can can we? If we EVA, can she? Why does it start out with no power? Can she at least go move over? Where's the pod? There's the pod. Okay, well, hurry. Okay, now hopefully that's reconnected. I'm busy trying to get Jedman over here. Okay, grab. Board. Okay, Jedman is in. So Kafsky, we need to get to in a hurry. And so we need to flip orbit <laughs> completely. We really don't have to wait. Multi don't want to have to wait multiple orbits. How much is that? Well, that's only six hundred there. That's at least nice. Okay. Well, big burn now. Flipping burn. With two crew, we have 23 days. Well, I guess that's the best we can do. Five days, huh? At least the lower bit one should be quicker. Okay, here we go for Kafsky's wreckage. Entering render range. No node. Okay, well, let's roll so that the hatch is on that side. Okay, what pod is that? That's another cockpit. It's like the X1 cockpit. Okay, well, electricity depleted is apparently not a problem for the short term. Okay, grab, forward. Okay, now the low, low one. One that's down, not that one. Oh, wait a minute, it's not that low. This one. Okay, so we have some inclination. I don't want to wait too long. How many days? 12 days now. We need like 5 days to get back at least. Okay. Last Gerbil. Well, we could meet up there. That wouldn't be too bad. Okay. Ignition. To get us the rendezvous with the final Kerbal. Now we certainly have plenty of Delta V for this mission. As we once again enter render range. Okay, 200 meters is good enough for me. We'll just make sure to slow down before getting the Kerbal out. Okay, we'll have that Kerbal close that 200 meter gap. 
And Tamin is also in like an X1 pod. Realism Overhaul should just decommission these X1 pods. <laughs> They're clearly too dangerous. Ah, oh, I thought I had kill rotation on that thing. See, now it's firing the thrusters. Uh... <laughs> Yes, stop turning. No, no. I also don't want to break any of the solar panels. Weak. Bonked head. Okay, grab. Board. All right, they're all in. And we have eight days, so that's probably good enough. Is there only three IVA views? Oh, I might have used the Mark 1-3 cockpit. So, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, I should use my own EDB cabin for it, which has four seats. But let's just see. Transfer crew, we have four. All right, so they're all in there. We have the Delta V to get back. We have the time to get back. So we better get back. Okay, going around this way. So we're here. Uh, how long did you say? Six hours. Okay, just checking. Okay, that'll be good enough for now, but that's... Well, we have it, so let's just go with it. All right, that's more than we should be spending to get back. And no, that periapsis is in how long? Two days? Okay, we'd be going really fast. Let's not do that. Okay, three days, 10 hours is a little bit too my, more to my liking. All right. Well, let's keep an eye on the little X1 cockpit so that we don't ram into it. Okay, transurf injection, ignition momentarily, going back home. Doesn't look like we're aimed at the target at all. It's a heck of a lot of inclination though. Alright, interesting burn, but as long as it gets us the result we want. Okay. Being close to the end here. That's looking all right. Okay. I'll try 56 here. And we are departing the moon. Off we go. Okay, coming in. I'm not going to try to slow down ahead of time. It'll be night time. All right, service module separation. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> uh, no, descent mode, has it been on the whole time? No, the turn descent mode on is right now, okay. Service module explosions. Okay, all right, all right, be careful. All right, well, those are the battery and the and the docking port. That's fine, that's fine. We sort of expect that. Okay, we probably don't need that anymore. Eek, there's some overheating of various things. I can't actually control the roll right now. Whoops. Mitigate G-forces. Mitigate them. Well, we're just sort of spinning. Uh-oh. Bill is at G-limit. Bill passed out. No. Everybody's passing out. 
these kerbals, not even rated for 9Gs. Well, we're coming down. I don't know why it likes to keep spinning. I thought I would have roll control, but not so much. What was it? 9 Gs, exactly. Fair amount of charred blader. Oh good, they're regaining consciousness. And let's try to point nose first. Oh no. Come on. Why would you do that? Okay, arrow cap. Eek. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> okay, it went off. It went off. Nope. There we go. All right, now it's all better. An 18 day mission. And. Splashdown. Okay, recover. Just a normal recovery. All right. Well, we got some science actually as well. And we've got, we now have three additional Kerbals and one of them is a five star scientist. Uh, but none of them are pilots. <laughs> we, all three were scientists, which I guess explains why they got stranded around the moon. Okay. So, yes, all successful. And we can move on to other things. But we do have two more to rescue around Earth. And they're both at the equator. So the Delta V ultimately is basically the same as getting to the moon. Though we don't have as need to have as much in the service module. So yeah, it's going to be rough trying to rescue those two. Because we're at Cape Canaveral and they're equatorial. But we might want to do other things before dealing with them.